I've actually invited one of the BSU's professors, who's an expert in rocks, to kind of come talk to us. In my other hand, we have a meteorite sample. Now they tell me that some of the meteorite samples are 4.5 billion years old. So in one hand, you've got the oldest thing known to man in one hand, and on the other hand, you'll have a piece of the moon's surface. So I'm going to start the meteorites over here. Now I want y'all to look at them and then pass them on so everybody gets an opportunity to hold a piece of history. All right, so you, when you hold that, you're literally holding the moon, and you can look at it through the sideways, upways, always. Now, Professor, tell me, if I was to sell these, what would it, what would it cost? What would I get for if I sold these moon rocks? All right. We, we place value, you know, we being all of us, place values on things for different reasons. And one of the ways we do it is how much it costs to get it, all right? You know, your house, a big part of your house is just how much it costs to buy all the wood and the, and the tiles and everything, you know, to build it. Well, the NASA says that um, if you take into account all the expense it costs for the U.S. to send the astronauts to the moon and bring these samples back, it makes them the most expensive things on Earth. That is that there's nothing more expensive on Earth based on how much it costs to get them.